Guys, in this video, let us look at the advantages of episiotomy. So, till now, what have you looked at? You looked at episiotomy means what? It's also called as perineotomy. You looked at the definition. Uh, you have looked at the objectives, but we will cover it again with the advantages. You have looked at the indications of episiotomy also. And you have looked at the timing of episiotomy. Okay. So, now let us look at the advantages of episiotomy. Here. So, advantages. So, basically what was your intention of doing uh, episiotomy? You want to enlarge the vaginal introitus, that is the opening of the vagina, so, uh, so that there can be a, a easy and safe delivery of the fetus. Okay. And you want to minimize the overstretching and rupture of the perineal muscles and fascia. So, you want to reduce the stress and strain on the fetal head. So, these were your objectives. What, what were your objectives? Repeat that. You want to reduce the uh, stretch and all that uh, on the perineum. You want to make sure that the passage of the fetus is easy and you want to put um, less stress and strain on the fetal head. Okay. That's it. Now, what are the advantages to the mother? The mother you already saw. So you don't want to overstretch or rupture these muscles and fascia. So that is the advantage. So, basically, uh, the suggested benefits, they are not sure if it actually has benefits, ma major benefits, but anyways, the suggested benefits are that if you give a controlled incision, it is better, okay, than later what would become a lacerated wound if you don't give the episiotomy. So, a controlled incision is easier to repair than a lacerated, occur, lacerated wound that might occur otherwise, okay, then. There will be duration reduction, reduction in the duration of the second stage labor or you can say duration of second stage will reduce. That's what they are saying, suggested benefit. Then there will be less trauma, reduction of trauma to the pelvic floor muscles. So this will reduce the incidence of prolapse of what? Prolapse of the uterus and perhaps urinary incontinence. So future benefits seem to be good. There, uh, the chances of a prolapse uterus will be less urinary incontinence also will be less okay i like that so all this will reduce okay let us put the bad things in red reduction of trauma prolapse incidence and urinary incontinence all this will reduce the duration of second stage of labor also will reduce right then so the controlled incision is better than a lacerated wound that might occur if you don't do this episiotomy what is the benefit to the fetus guys are you focusing we are looking at what we are looking at the benefits of episiotomy we have finished the mother now let's move on to the fetus it minimizes the intracranial injury again this is a red word it will reduce the intracranial injury especially in premature babies or after coming of head of breach so the buttocks have come out what will come out after that the head so the head which is coming after the buttocks right that is the after coming head for that the the intracranial injuries will be less okay so for this after coming head of breach or for premature babies the intracranial injuries will minimize i think intracranial injuries for all babies will in minimize isn't it so this is these are the benefits of episiotomy